Hey everyone, so today's video we're going to look at the NVENT 920 heat trace controller and specifically dig into all of the components that are in this heat trace controller panel and then how they all interact and work together. So let's get into it. So this is a typical 920 heat trace control panel. This one's obviously just in our lab, but it's good for demonstration purposes. So the 920 control panel's got a couple elements here. So obviously we've got our terminal blocks that have our incoming uh, voltage and then our um, outgoing voltage for our heat trace circuits that are located in the field. Typically in a panel like this, you'll also have a set of terminal blocks that are for our DCS or common alarm wiring, and then also RS-485 communication wiring. Now, these modules, I'm gonna start with these guys. So these are the 920 um, current transformer modules, and these things do much more than uh, typical you know, CT. Um, so not only does this not only does this module read um, read current or, or measure current from the heat trace circuits, but it's also used as the control power to our heat trace controller modules, and then it's also used to do the switching for either a solid state relay, which is most common, or an EMR or a contactor. So the CT modules are, you have to, uh, they'll be very specific to either an SSR or an EMR. So this, this one is, and most common, is configured um, for solid state relays. The, um, this cable serves two purposes. Obviously it's providing um, power to the uh, 920 module, but then the 920 is also reading current from the CT module and it's also um, telling the CT module when to output onto the solid state relay or when how to the solid state relay should be switching or an EMR if it, if it had an EMR module. Um, so one thing to note here is that the 920 controller, you probably already know, is a two-point heat trace controller. That means there's two individual um, heat trace circuits on the 920 module. And you get a CT module per circuit. And what you'll notice is that these connectors that are on the board, if one is disconnected, we still have, we still have control um, voltage on the 920 module. But if both are disconnected is when we lose voltage or we lose uh, control power. But if, e if we have power from either one, um, then we get, um, control, we get control voltage on the module. The other thing on the module is on the actual heat trace controller, there's a couple components to it. So I've already loosened all the screws on this module, um, but you have your um, you have your interface module. Now, this is not the brains of the 920 heat trace controller. So this can come off and go between any other modules you have in your panel um, without any repercussions. This is the actual module itself. So if this is taken off, your heat trace circuit is still going to work and function and you get some basic indication in terms of power. Um, my alarm indication from point A, point B, so circuit one, circuit two, um, and if it's outputting anything to the solid state relays or the EMRs, okay? 
but this is the actual control module. So I've already loosened all the screws on this because I want to show you the um, control board. So the control board is where we do all of our external wiring. So whether it be our common alarm wiring, our RS-45 communication, our external inputs, external outputs, or our RTDs, everything gets wired to this control board. Um, the last thing I want to note is related to RS-45 communication. Now some older heat trace control panels um, that get um, RS-45 communication to them or if they introduce RS-45 communication at a later date is that only some 920s are RS-45 compatible, um, RS-45 communication compatible. And the way that you tell that on your controllers is that is this top sticker right here and it actually tells you 920 series RS-45 communications option. So if you're ordering a 920 controller, make sure you get it with that RS-45 communication um, option included on it. But that's who you tell is if your module is uh, RS-45 uh, compatible. Um, I'm not sure if MBEN still does it, but if you had older um, 920 controllers, some of the versions will allow you to upgrade with this if you get the chips, but I'm not too sure if MBEN still, uh, still offers that as an option.